Welcome back to Sunset's Ponies, everyone. So I thought it was about time to do an update on my pony room um, because I have um, definitely made uh, some changes. So um, I took out a bed that was in here and I recently bought these awesome Ikea shelves which um, cover the window that was in here. Um, so I'll start this way and then I'll, I'll talk a little bit about um, my pony room. So first of all, on the back of the door, I have a number of posters. So if uh, you're not familiar with my channel, um, I am a long time My Little Pony collector. Um, I was a, a huge fan, a demographic, the, the demographic that was aimed at back in the 80s as a child. Um, I had Medley was one of my first My Little Ponies. And so I have been collecting in childhood and then all through my adult life. So I have in here, I collect um, multiple different generations of My Little Pony. Um, this here is a quilt that I actually made. And recently I was able to display um, these uh, sleeping bags um, I, I found online these quilt um, hangers that you can um, attach to your wall and you can hang things from them without actually putting coals or anything in it um, and plus I, I just got the sleeping bag for my birthday it was a surprise for my mom and my sister so I'm very pleased with it and to display it so this area hasn't really changed much, um, probably since the last time, except for I've maybe filled in a little bit. So I have a lot of G4 still in the package up here, followed by some G1. And then I have my little train set. So I typically prefer the brushables, but one of the things I loved about these blind bags is they went really well with the uh, G4 train set. Um, and my parents have an extensive Christmas village with train. Um, so I just really loved on this so I set up my own little village and I have so this uh, playset the playset is not my little pony um, it was from Target it's like their little woodsies or um, little animal dolls um, but it sure looked like um, Twilight's treehouse library treehouse uh, so I bought it for display and then I have a lot of play sets. So this Lullaby Nursery is my actual childhood play set. It was the only one I had as a child. And um, I've got lots of ponies. And then down here is my Build-A-Bear collection. So I have all of the Build-A-Bears except for um, Sunset, no, not Sunset Shimmer, Twilight Glimmer, or what was her name? The one with the glimmer. They did her hair different and I didn't like it, but I don't know, maybe I should um, go ahead and get her just so I could say I have a complete collection. Um, not all of them are here. I have one or two scattered around the house. So then, there's the top of the IKEA shelves. This little puzzle was found in the wild recently, so that was exciting. All the pieces were there. I put it together, of course. I 
I have some of my new acquisitions and stuff from uh, recent pony conventions in here. And my pretty pony, the precursor for my little pony. Uh, this whole shelf here are from my childhood collection between myself and my sister. Um, these were all childhood ponies. Um, additionally, some of the ones down here are also childhood ponies. So I own two G1 Mitten Box ponies. Three, I forgot. I recently got um, baby pictures because I like to collect the art themed ones. So I own three Mitten Box uh, G1s plus some clothing. Here are some of my international ponies, so ponies from outside of the U.S. And some G1 plush. Uh, these are some art pieces I did way back in college, back in the early 2000s. And over here, mitten box G3. Um, most of this middle shelf are from the pony convention back when Hasbro um, created them. So I do have an empty spot over here. I am waiting for the newest um, ponies from um, oh, losing the word. Basic Fun. I'm waiting for the newest ponies from Basic Fun. They're um, supposed to be releasing some um, unreleased designs. Um, so I'm very excited about that. So I'm saving this spot for that. So more G4. is not normally allowed in here, so I came in to record, so of course she got herself in. So we ponies, we have some G3. So over here I have started to stack my basic fun ponies. I have a lot more. Um, I, have, I have some ponies at work, I have some ponies in um, my bedroom. I have a, a cabinet of the HQG1C ponies in another room. So this is the majority of my collection, but it is not everything. I recently got some Care Bears. I don't typically collect Care Bears, but I like the Cousins. And so I got these at um, Flea Market recently. And then I also got this uh 40th Carolot Bear because the little pink castle reminds me of the little pony. So I do, I'm holding on to those for a little bit. Got some random um, Malo Pony G merch. G1, or not G1. Some random Malo Pony merchandise. Though a lot of it is G1 characters in different forms. ponies and a sea themed ponies and I have a lot of my DVDs back here a couple of small play sets more G3 and G4 so here's my shelf of G5 I'm probably gonna keep it try to keep it down to the just this one shelf and then my very small collection of G2 I don't really actively collect G2 but um, a couple of times I've found them you know in the wild um, 
And then I also have these keychains I won once at a meet. Uh, I also have some of the uh, little birds from the 80s, little kitties. So when I, when I run into them in the wild, I've been started to hold on to them. So more G4, G4 fashion style, and some other kind of random things up here. So then here's the closet. So I've hung this sleeping bag. This sleeping bag is actually my childhood sleeping bag. So I did hold on to it. And so I just hung it on the back of this door because I don't have a whole lot of shelf space, you know, to display things just hanging on the wall. So I was very proud when I thought of that. In case you're curious, here is the closet full of things, um, loose accessories on the back of the door, all kinds of things. And then I also have, last thing would be this display, which um, was at Walmart um, when Walmart did the 35th anniversary. They had these little hanging on the, the ends, little cardboard displays. So I was able to get one of those. So that's where I keep some of these basic fun ponies. And that's it, that's the whole room. So thank you for going on a tour with me of my pony room. And um, hopefully uh, at some point this year, I will have new 40th anniversary ponies um, to talk about. So you wanna say bye, Sestra? <laughs> we'll see you later, bye.